Greetings gamers, welcome to Eurogamer, my name's Ian Hickton, that's how you spell it if you want to follow me on Twitter, which I suggest you do if you want updates on all of our daily live streams, because sometimes some of them have prizes, just like this one. Uh, today, at the end of this live stream, I'm going to be doing a Lucky Dip, the uh, normal standard Lucky Dip, uh, and I'm going to be giving away five pairs of the early entry passes for Saturday at this year's Eurogamer uh, Expo in London. All those early entry passes have now sold out. If you search for EGX London on Google, you'll be taken to egxlondon.net. And then if you go to the tickets bit on there and look on the Saturday, it says the early entry sold out. Boo. So you cannot... Uh, 25th, 26th, 27th. You cannot legitimately get um, Saturday early entry passes for Saturday the 27th of September um, off the internet anymore. Um, well, off our website anymore because they've all sold out. But there's a chance to get uh, yeah five pairs uh, today in this um, at the end of this live stream. So it's five pairs basically so you get to take a friend or a relative or a guardian or something uh, the tickets only cover entry though it's free entry but you're gonna have to sort out your own travel and your own accommodation but apart from that uh, it's uh, free to get in and you'll be getting uh, yeah you'll be getting a very very sought after ticket in fact looking at the uh, website now the uh, Thursday early entry and the Friday early entry are running out and the Sunday early entry has also sold out so if you are interested in going to EGX London go to egxlondon.net right now buy your tickets because they're selling out very fast and it's bound to be freaking awesome Anyway, that's enough of the sales pitch. Um, I am going to be streaming a little bit of Carmageddon Reincarnation, the early alpha, no, the early access pre-alpha, which you can buy right now on Steam Early Access for 20 English pounds. Now, Dan Whitehead has done a, uh, a review an early access review of that. That's up on Eurogamer.net right now if you want to read that. The uh, early access reviews that we do here at Eurogamer do not have a score. We don't uh, give scores to games until they are finished, but because people give money over for these uh, early access things, we kind of think it's you know, our duty to let people know what they're p handing their money over for. You'll be able to get to see this game in action right now in this live stream and uh, see whether or not it's worth your money. If you want the opinions of someone who can write a sentence proper like, then you should also read Dan Whitehead's uh, review of it right down there. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Oh, you see what I did there? Because it's like a car game and stuff. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, let me just press that. Let me just press this. And fingers crossed it'll come up and I will be able to do some shout outs while it's loading. So we've got a Titan Sleeps here, we've got a Cold Guy 03, we've got the Shutter Fan, we've got Tom T101. He says, Hi Ian, I enjoyed our meet up at Rez. I enjoyed it too, Tom T101. I met Tom T101 and quite a few other people. Drassy Drazan, Aaron was there. Uh, we got a big group photo, that was quite cool. I tweeted that out. Uh, Centurion Mud Pigs here, so is Sean Lennox, so is Drunk Dougie, so is Ross O'Leary, so is Ed2003, WR. Rex, Ross O'Leary is a long time watcher, first time poster. Thank you very much for coming along, Ross O'Leary. We've got 115 people watching at the moment. If you're new, please do subscribe. If you're not new, then you are awesome. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Pre-alpha. This game is in development and nothing should be considered finished yet. Everything is work in progress and subject to change. Changes will be influenced by your involvement in the game development, your bug reports, feedback and suggestions. But remember, expect bugs, expect regular up updates, expect the unexpected, expect the Spanish Inquisition. Please report bugs by using the form at the following link, carmageddon.com forward slash bugger. That's quite funny. Uh, get involved in forging the final feel of the game. Visit the forums and tell us what you think. Carmageddon.com forward slash CR dev. Thank you, Karma fans. Right, I understand. Pichu! There we go. Carmageddon reincarnation. Now, Carmageddon re uh, original Carmageddon came out sometime in the 90s and was like rode heavily on the wave of like immature 90s games, you know, Duke Nukem's, the Duke Nukem's, the um, uh, other one that just completely went out of my mind as I went to pick up my joypad. 
Mortal Kombat, things like that. Ultra Gore games. Uh, you can control it by mouse and keyboard, but I'm going to put the mouse out of shot, hopefully, and uh, use an Xbox joypad to play this game. Kai was 12 is here. Uh, Lally Lul 25 is here. Kai was 12 hated the original, symptomatic of everything that was wrong and still is to a degree about gaming. Uh, H Hack would love to go to EGX if I win the tickets. I would definitely go a long way to travel from Glasgow. Yeah, you're going to have to be free September the 27th uh, if you do win the tickets, but it'll be worth going down. Carmageddon Reincarnation. Who said that ultra pun there? That was a good one. Uh, Sandro Chikakavakadazdi. I can't pronounce that. Hi, Johnny Shui. Hey, Stryer. Hey, Omega Proxima. Hey, Christina Edwards. Christina Edwards says chicken nuggets are nice. Hello, Spliff Bass. Hello, Mr. Adnan1992. Uh, Mr. UK Raid is here as well. And so is Stefan Campers. Right, so here's the main menu. As you can see, a lot of these uh, options are crossed off. Career, no career mode. Multiplayer, no multiplayer. Carmogeddon, Carmodgeddon. It's a modder's mecha. Still being worked on. Stuff. We can see the credits, so we can watch some tutorials. So, and there's obviously options. Visuals wise, uh, I've got it full screen, 16 by 9 playing it by in 1280 by 720, uh, 60 hertz. Uh, graphical quality and stuff, uh, I've got kind of like medium view distance is high. Uh, most of the uh, most of the like graphical graphically you know tough options whatever, brain's gone. Uh, they're kind of low or turned off, uh, but I was still getting really bad frame rates when I was playing this earlier. How's the audio for you guys? Hopefully the audio is alright for you guys. Camera. Invert Y is turned off. Boo. As an invert wire. That depresses me. Camera type. Chase cam. Bumper cam. There we go. Chase cam. Okay, so let's jump into free play and see what's going on. Remember this game is still in development and... Um, from what I've played, it is very much, very much unfinished. Um, textures are unfinished, sound effects are unfinished, animations are uh, not there. Uh, it's you'll see as we go along that there is a lot of work to be done with this game. Um, whether or not it's worth your twenty pounds at the moment will be your uh, decision at the end of the stream. Uh, I'm going to go for Classic Karma because we can't change anything else. Classic Karma has got three ways to win. Um, you can race and complete the laps in time. You can kill uh, another opponent or all other opponents. Or you can splatter a certain amount of pedestrians. So uh, there's other, mo uh, other modes like Car Crusher. It's Deathmatch. It's Car Crusher. Ped Chase. Chase down pedestrians. Checkpoint Stampede. A checkpoint spawns the first player through the checkpoint wins so that sounds quite fun death race a straightforward race spiced with Carmageddon's power-ups uh, fox and hounds the fox has to evade the hounds if you hit the fox you become the fox so lots of modes to look forward to at the moment there are three available maps when Dan Whitehead uh, reviewed this game he only there were only two tracks available. Uh, he, it was Ice Cubed and Oil Be Blowed. Uh, Country Slide is the new one. And this is possibly a new one as well, Docking Hell. I didn't realise there was a fourth one as well. So when Dan reviewed it, I think there was only those two available. 53% um, final, 58% final. I'm guessing that's how much left there is to build into the game. I'm going to try Docking Hell uh, to start with because it's almost a rude word. It's got five laps, starting time in two minutes, don't really know what that means. Pre-release options off, uh, disable AI cars, disable race timer, disable pedestrians, allow PIS overdraft, I don't know what any of that means. I guess you get those options uh, if you buy pre-release. I'm going to keep all the options on though. 
Not sounding like something I'd spend 20 quid on with all these disclaimers, still at least they're honest, says Guru of Grunge. People who don't play inverted are weird, says Artibus. I agree, I don't like it when uh, games say normal or inverted, because um, inverted is normal. Our gilf-loving gimp cutter has a penchant for rubber, lubrication and sharp things. Penetrate him quick before he penetrates you. So this game is very immature. I played as this car last time I played it. It was very hard to handle. So I'm going to try a different car. I might just try the standard car, the Eagle R. Oh, oh come back. I'm going to go for the standard car at the moment. Uh, I found the handling in this game pretty awful. Uh, and the camera as well. But we shall see as we go into it how it how how it goes. Played the Scott Pilgrim demo the other day. Very retro. Not sure whether the joke would become tireless after a while, though. Much like the films. There's no more Jim. No goat mode. Not buying. Says Lally Lil Old 25. Jobby Biscop says live is the best. Damn straight, Jobby Biscop. Don't know why you would need to invert in a car sim. Says Centurion Mudpig. Uh, you have a little bit of control over the camera, not much. I um, don't know why you'd need to either. I was just took offence to it being uh, being locked off. I remember playing the original when I was like eight years old and literally pissing myself laughing. It was awesome. There is definitely a lot of stuff to laugh about with this game. Lots of uh, ridic ridiculo gore. Lots of um, crazy anarchic action. One of the levels that I play, the there's one level with loads of cows, and I spent a long time running over loads of cows. Uh, mad as f mad as anythingly long load times. Five, Here we four, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. So here we go. Graphically, you can see that a lot of the textures are um, placeholder textures. Um, very unfinished ballet bonus, and as you can see, frame weight, frame weight, frame rate rise. It's pretty damn shocking at the moment. I think I just saw an eyeball go there. You can open your doors on your cars to hit pedestrians. I can't remember what the button it is. It's not B. Is it RB? LB? Maybe? I don't know. Checkpoints are very hard to find. It's not really... Tracks and uh, race layouts aren't really kind of signposted the best. If you click in the right thumbstick, you can see a, uh, a, map, a world map, though, which kind of lets you get back onto track. Lap complete. I'm trying to take out some pedestrians as I go. Where am I going to be going? Oh, I've, got, I've completely gone the wrong way now. I'm at first place. Can I get over this way? And I hope I can get over this way. Oh, God, that guy crashed right into me and destructified the front of my car. Get off me. You can buy upgrades on the fly. You can repair yourself on the fly by holding down Y. It costs, though. But now my car is, uh, once again, healed up. Checkpoint. I'm not really sure what position I am at. I think I might be fifth. 100% sure. Uh, he's coming right for me! Uh, he missed me. Sucker! So, yeah, like I said, in Carmageddon mode, there are um, three ways to win. You don't have to do the race, you don't have to do the laps like I'm doing. You could win by being the first person to run over 708 pedestrians. Or by being the first person to take out five cars. I'm going to try... Go for laps first. Oh god, damn it. I looked down at the comments for one second and next thing I knew... Explodified. Black. Black. Ban this sick filth, someone said. The people are still suicidal, I see, says uh, Ross O'Leary. 
Ian, you have a blue line on your map to follow. Oh, yes, top left. I do, yes, yeah, sorry. It's still kind of... That helps, actually, but it's still a little bit um, confusing on some of the maps, as you'll see as we go along. So since this has been, been uh, released, like a week ago, they've added two more tracks, so that's good. Plenty of updates, please, for this, because um, you don't want people to think that this is the uh, state of the game. <laughs> to be fair. Blah! Nice squishy noises. I'll try a different car out in the next race. It'd be nice if all racing games had the option of, of a whoa! Fixed bonnet straight bumper cam. It's now my gym. Hey Ian, look at the map on the top left. It shows you where to go. Cool, cool. I read that one. cost of journey from Isle White to Eurogamer London equals £145, not including entry ticket uh, and expensive day out, says Iceman Garage. Well, come for a couple of days then. Make it, make it worth your while. Oh, I've only got 50 seconds left. Does that someone el mean someone else has finished the laps already? Nice drifting. 30 seconds to make it round the track. Got the bit! Whoa! Checkpoint. I don't think we're going to do this in 20 seconds. I'm going to try my goddamn best though. As long as it doesn't go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to do it. Yeah! What position did I come? It doesn't really say. Event complete. All laps completed. Oh, maybe you don't need to. Uh, maybe it's not a race. And uh, Very poor, says Hated Steve. That looks like the red car from Captain Scarlet and the Mysterions. Nice, says uh, Nomad Jim. This looks good, but maybe not worth 20 quid yet, says Mr. Adnan. I'm not even sure I've seen 708 pedestrians yet. Must all be hiding. Don't blame them with Ian driving, says Guru of Grange. What? Can't wait for EGX. I was expecting to wait four weeks to get the press pass, but got an e emailed me today. Need to get a ticket to the Stick Twiddlers after party, says Waterfields 1. Game of Megacast. Hey, in another great stream. Just purchased my EGX ticket for Saturday. Nice. Can't wait. Will you be there? Yes, I'll be there for all four days. Working my little cotton socks off, so... um. Hopefully you'll be able to come up and say hello. It was very cool meeting all the uh, live stream viewers at EGX Rest last weekend. This weekend just gone. So uh, yeah, let's keep it. Let's uh, let's keep it friendly and keep the meetups coming on along in Eurogamer London. So that was uh, that event completed. Roboto. I, it looks like I came first. Inspect. I'm not really sure. Continue. Now what's going on? So that was uh, that was the first. That was Docking Hell. That was classic Carmageddon on Docking Hell. Let's try another map. Why can't I hear anything? Can't tell if uh, this is meant to have no. I cannot hear any audio down my headphones. I might have to reload it if there's no audio. Let's try a different level anyway. Let's go oil be blowed. Laps 8. I'm going to change my car up. I'm going to have... Should I just, I'll just try Towmeister. God, that looks like it's going to be a nightmare to handle. Start race. Wow! God, no, the sound's come back and I've just blown my brains out. Jesus Christ. Uh, 56 kills out of 708. Lol, says Drunk Dougie. 
Uh, hey, Sergeant Hamster. Looks quite dull, but appreciate it's an alpha, says John Harris. Early access alpha, so... You're paying £20 for this if you want to play it. More and more metal. Five, four, three, three two, two, one, go. go! That's better. It did a normal countdown then. Uh, you can't really change the camera at all. Uh, so I'm upside down now. To right myself, it's X. Uh, but this car, because I can't change the camera as far as I know, um, this car fills up almost half the, more than half the screen, so I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I'd like a camera that gives you a further away view, please, developers. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Yes! Took that guy out. Let's try and take a car out. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! I'm coming straight for ya! Boom! Break. That Lambo's got no chance against me. He wants to fight though. He's got 22 on the side of this truck, and he's have 32 on the side of it. Get out of the way! Lamborghini really wants to fight me. You want to fight? Fight me! Oh, black! Let's try and get this dude. So it's definitely feeling very much like a 19s game right now, and it looks a little bit like a 90s game too. Boof! Gonna get you, red car! No, no, ah! I'm not sure what this does, to be honest. Keep pressing that button. No idea. I don't know. Oh. That's my uh, power there that I'm using. It's not repulsing that guy. It's meant to be an object repulsor. That guy is uh, being repulsed zero amounts. Boing! I think it might just repulse people. What do you get for trying to push me, dude? Don't push me, push your push pop. You can change the camera. You can change the camera in options, I believe. You can only change the camera, though... Uh, you can't change the camera mid-game. And you can only change it to, to bumper cam. Not a massive fan of bumper cam, either. I, I like... Uh, Far away views. Do 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 do. Bom bom bom. Blah. Page up and page down on the keyboard for cameras, this Giga Chump. Okay, I'll try that in a second. Lap complete! Lap complete! Finally completed a lap. Let's go up this way and see what's up here. More pedestrians. Squishy squashy! Been wrecked. Field. Uh, 
Whoa! Where am I going? Page up and page down. No. You need an opponent repulsificator to repulse other cars, says Murillo Spect. Page up and page down on the keyboard. Don't work to change camera. I have to go back into the options. I hope this floor's placeholder. Blog. Change the distance from the options you just showed. You'll see better then. Ah, cool. Ah, good work. Man, all this interface needs to be sorted though. Just need a button. You need a button on the in the game to just you know scroll through different viewpoints like every other racing game in the world has. Wrong, Dun -dun -dun. Checkpoint. Wrong checkpoint. Whoopsie. That's a much better much better view though. Where's the checkpoint I'm going to be crossing? This quite it doesn't feel quite as outrageously controversial as the first game. Where are the cows and the grannies? I guess the cows and well the cows are in the game. I like that big blood smear there. Uh, I guess the grannies are coming later maybe. Wrong Ian's got an interview soon with the RAC, says John Buggy. H plus says it's so easy to start hating. Where's it gone? Try to make a game. I can hate on any game that charges twenty pounds for a non finished product. The cows are in another level, grannies are out there somewhere, says uh, Murillo Spect. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! I like the amount of blood. I, I, that's cool. You can kind of find your way around to the checkpoints uh, via the blood stains on the ground, that's kind of cool. Lap complete. Complete. Um, I'm running out of things to say about this game. <laughs> You just kind of drive around and hit checkpoints at the moment. Squash some dudes. I'm going to try and squash a, the. Uh, I'm going to try and squash a certain amount of pedestrians and win that way on the next race. 
I can't believe the early entry for Saturday is already sold out for EGX, says Aaron Taylor. And it sold out in the first couple of hours. It's incredibly. But everyone knows that it's awesome. We've still got a few of the um, super passes. Come on, get ya! Still got a few of the super passes left over, though. Checkpoint. Super passes will get you in early entry all four days. And they cost the price of three days. Three early entry days. I think I might need to fix my car up a bit. Repair, 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 repair. Hey! Get, get away from me. Wapam! I like the way it repairs and all the bits go into the car. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Carmageddon's watching. They say cows are in the country slide level uh, and there are some grannies hanging around on the icebergs in this level. Let's try and find some grannies. Do 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 do. Oh, I can use page up and page down now. What? Why wasn't that working before? That was odd. Sweet. Page up and page down now works. For uh, changing your uh, camera view. Bum 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 bum! There's a big snowball right up there. Boo boo. Can I get this rolling? Ah, oh, nice. Ah! Got a bit of blood on it, do squish someone with a snowball? Come on. Get down there. Oh. Go on, keep rolling. Can't move the camera. Oh. Um, that looks like there's a, a fair few alternate routes around. Which could be fun for more kind of destruction derby style game modes. Let's see if we've got any grannies hanging around up here. We've got scientists, we've got dudes in s jackets, scientissimos. These aren't icebergs, though, are they? So. I guess this must be a. I think this is a. What, an aircraft carrier or something? And this is placeholder graphics. Textures. Oh! <laughs> uh. Ching. When this game comes out in the UK, the blood will be green, says uh, the broom cupboard. Wouldn't surprise me. And there'll be zombies we're running over, not grannies, right? I wonder if there'll be a driver cam uh, like the original, says Ash Taylor. I loved that when I was a kid. Gonna run me you! Boom! Wrecked him! Nice! I've wrecked two out of five cars. I've lost my back tyre though, let's fix that up. Here we go. Ooh! Bop, 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 boing! Fixo! Magico! Wrong checkpoint! Oh! Wrong checkpoint! <clears throat> oh, I need to finish off this dude. Ooh, pelvic thrust. Didn't realise I had a pelvic thrust power up. Let's try pelvic thrusting this dude. Whoa! Did I wreck that guy? Somehow wrecked four out of five cars now. Let's see if I can wreck a final car and be the winner. God knows where it is. Splatter! 
What's with all the Russian Swedes in this thread? Says, uh. Hey! The broom cupboard, I have no idea. Yes, the Pratt cam will be returning, says Carmageddon. Lovely stuff. <laughs> You'll also find some penguins, says Carmageddon. Nice, nice. Big debate on early access, but if you know what you are putting your money down for, then who's to say you shouldn't? Just a lot of people who buy and don't realise what early access means, says Centurion Mudpick. I can't... I like... I, I'm, I'm a bit here and there with um, early access. I like the Minecraft model where, you know, I bought Minecraft about five years ago and it's still being added to. Um, but I don't really, I'm not really too keen on the way that developers are just spamming early access now and just bring out unfinished games for loads of money, really. I'm not sure whether that's making, like, I, I don't think that's a good thing. Uh -huh. Ice cubed. Right, let's try. Let's try countryside because ice cubed is another ice one. So I'll go country slide and run over some cows. I'm going to try and run over as many cow uh, as much cows as possible and win by running over cows. I'm going to change my car to another car. I'm going to go for the twister this time. What does the twister look like? Ooh, very nice. And start race. <laughs> Abdu Benz uh, seems to like Algeria a lot. I wonder if that's where he comes from. It's an alpha version, given all the things in development for Daisy. The final won't look anything like it does now either, says so 2003 WRX. Indeed, indeed. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Now I hope someone makes a new Vigilante 8, bought it for my 360 a while back, and zero people are playing it, it's 86 the Mad Hatter. Metal drums! Much cow, says Tom T101. Indeed. Anyone have early access to Prison Architect? I don't, Mr. Adnan. Three, two, one, go! Splat! Lots of people splatting around. Oh my god! Oh, there's the cows. Slide it in. It's quite nice. They do. They do have some kind of comical um, names of bonuses. Oh look, cars screwed already. Let's repair it. I like the way, I do like the way the bits that fall off your car stay somewhere on the track and then they kind of, oh that's a dual sandwich, uh, they stay like on your car and then they kind of Thor's hammer back onto your car. Milk that, so uh, that's kind of cool. Nice touch. Oppo as opposed to a bad touch. No one likes a bad touch. Splatter bonus. Oh god. Let's go down here. Cows. We're going to go get some cows. Screw racing! It's time to splatter some cows. Woo! Milk that splatter bonus on the old sun strike. Splatter bonus. But 32 out of a total of 670 living creatures that I need to splatter beneath my tyres. Oh, that was a big cow organ ended up on my car there. Blah. I think that was a cow's bladder. I think I might have just made a sausage. Those cows sound ridiculous. Ow. No. That's almost definitely human beings making cow noises rather than samples of real cows. Moo. No. Moo. No. Moo. No. Moo. No. Moo. No. These cows don't stand a chance. 80. 
it's going to take a while to splat a 670. Slide it in. Well, Ian, you just gave me a great idea for a gear. Really? I would like to see that. Ooh. Nope, uh... <laughs> no! I got a prison architect and it's beep awesome, says Iceman Garage. I need to get on Project Zomboid ever. Keep hearing good things. But I'm yet to try it. No! Best original map, says, uh,. A name that I can't pronounce because it's in Russian or something. Only 500 odd cows left to squash. No. 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 No, that cow fell through the floor. Either that or his legs broke. Best cow noise is ha-ha, says Robin Club. Looking good, Simster. Can't wait to see how it looks once it's got a bit more content going on. Says Thomas Kewell. Meow. Oh my god, what a sick game, Bannock, says Lamasek. Nice. With all this cow carnage, you need someone talking in a rubbish Irish accent. Saboteur. <laughs> oh yeah. I love the exploding cows and Saboteur. Get off my land! These are my cows! My respawning cows that will never disappear for me. Wow! I wonder if there's any more cows over here. Let's get this dude. You dead? Oh, splurge. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the loop, the loop. I should do a loop of the track, really, shouldn't I? Because there's a cool loop de loop in there. Just need to work out how to get back to the racetrack. There are nuns with strollers on the uh, ice map, says Lamasek. I want my score in burgers, says Ed French. Wow! <laughs> oh. Wait. I've confused myself. Am I supposed to be going this way? Checkpoint. Checkpoint. There's a mansion over there. Let's see if I can get into the mansion. Toasty! Oh, sh sugar! The Warwick Hotel. Doesn't seem like any of the AI characters are trying to win this. I'm just going to take a tour around the Warwick Hotel. I wonder if this is based on a real Warwick Hotel. Wrong checkpoint. Wrong 
Yeah, boy. Let's get back in the race. It's quite fun squashing cows, but squashing 670 of them is just... It's going to get a little bit tedious, I think. What a punt! <laughs> Although that moo does make up for uh, most things that are missing in this game. Let's keep going. This car's alright. I like this car better than the uh, the other car, the last one I used. Oh, they're lining up for me! Oh, sh whoopsie! Oh, man. Do a barrel roll! Slid right into that cow. Hi, James Bow! Uh, Ed2003 is asking the devs what consoles this game is whoa, planned for. Will they answer? Who knows? Gonna kill you, Cal! Cunning stunt. Classy. Hmm. I don't think I've even done a lap yet, have I? This is a long track. Pretty sure multiplayer on this would be uh, pretty cool though. Whoa! I'm falling! Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Whoa! Missed it! Reckoning day for the cows. Move over, cows, or I'm going to run you over. The doors won't stay closed. Complete. Worst thing about the old games was the AI. I hope they actually make them do something in this one. This is Fallout Breakbeat. Why does some of the AI look like Slender Man, says Kieran Melody. Oh, my way. Whoa. I didn't realise the, uh, the front drill has also got a bit of a pump action on it. Naughty. Let's go and kill some more cows. Oh, this isn't the way to kill cows. I need to get down. There's a lot of a lot of dead cows. <laughs> hey Ian, causing mayhem and havoc in your path. I see says remodulate. I am indeed. I I met remodulate's another one that I met at Eurogamer Rest. Wow. Are there going to be upgrades? Haven't been looking for an answer yet. Says uh, Lamasek. Hasn't seen an answer yet. Uh, are there going to be upgrades? Not sure. There's power ups. I've not picked any up this this map though. But there are power ups. Boo. This game needs, like, Dead Rising 3 
amounts of zombies, uh, cows. So you can just go through millions of them. There are like cows flying everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Take me all day to squash 670. It's planned for Windows, Linux, Macs, and next gen console. Can't be more specific on console at the present, says Carmageddon. So, console release on the way, possibly at some point. But it's a secret console, shh, don't tell anyone. Bloody fell off. Let's go see what's around here. The old that looks like a fat dude in speedos. There's a fat dude in speedos. Whoa, stop reversing. Come here, fat dude in speedos. Dude in Speedo's got nailed. Ed 2003 WX says, <laughs> I'm a vegan, this level offends me greatly. Can't wait to play. There's some uh, sunbather death going on right there. Not going to get a tan while I'm around, people. crazy uh, easter eggs on this island yet. Wouldn't be surprised if something appears. Uh, is that a ramp? Kinda. Oh no. Cliffs! Ton of checkpoints, so I need to go back on myself. Wait. What's this way? Let's go exploring, screw it. That fat man was able to dodge in for quite a while. I know, right? He was uh, he definitely was um, not wanting to get run over. Oh shh oversteered. Ban hammering someone for um, a, a little bit of racism. Uh, we'll have no bullying, no racism, no homophobia, none of that, please, on this channel. Do 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 do. YouTube is signing me out all the time because it is annoying. Right. Sorry about that, guys. The, uh... The bad seed has been removed. We shall carry on.
not a big fan of um, trolls, especially when they troll my regulars. I'll look after you guys. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! <laughs> that was quite cool. He just fell off and I hammered into him and got the wrecking point for that. Checkpoint. I like this view better. Nice, nice wide view so I can see what's coming. Cow's jumping. Oh. Jump up and down, cow. <laughs> boo, moo! I'm jumping. Boo, boo. Oh, killed him. It's a church or something. And a ramp. Oh yeah, smash through the ramp and into some kind of random town, villagey thing. What the hell? I need to fix, fix up. I keep pressing the wrong button. Come to me, car. There it is. Big old level. Nice hit on the loop de loop, says Shot FM. Oh my god! Kaching! Where is the checkpoint? There. Where's that caravan come from? Wait, oh, no. There's the checkpoint. Hitchy nose, sorry. Oh god, I've been playing this game for an hour. Time flies, time flies. When you're running over cows. I've still, <laughs> still only done one lap, though. Ian, can you open the doors for air braking? I don't think so. I think they're probably just for splatting pedestrians. Is that Moo Noise one of the devs' voices? Lol, just noticed that somehow. I think it might be a, a 2003 WRX. You look like that cow was teabagging the corpse of the other cows, says Guru Grunge. I really don't want to know how they got the sound effects of that French. Or like the splatter Lab ones. Complete. Lab complete! God damn. I want the Pope Mobile. <laughs> Those pedestrians need to be blessed with holy waters, as Mr. Surrealist. Well, splattering. It's, it, everything's dropped to about 10 frames per second for some reason. And all the. Everything's popping in. And it's started to chug along a bit. I don't know why. Well, I do. It's pre alpha. So it's not even an alpha build. And it's been released for £20. Make of that what you will. Da boing!
Wee Weeble wobble, weeble wobble. Oh. Uh, pretty big levels is crazy double D. It's huge, it's huge. Can I just super shortcut this bit, can I? Gotcha! Oh, god damn it! Checkpoint. 10 frames per second equals the new 60 frames per second, says the shot of fan. Aaron Taylor says, will there be any streams this week or next? Uh, there's already a stream this week, because you're watching it right now. Uh, there will be a stream tomorrow, and there will be streams next week. That's an odd question, sir. Remodulate uh, says, there is like zero engine volume zoomed out at that distance. It's like you're driving a hybrid. complete. That is one big drill bit. <laughs> right. Hello everyone, is there a Richard from Aldridge in here? I only asked because I was just playing Animal Crossing, visited a town and he had Eurogamer in his caption. Small world, says Adam W. That is all small world. Ash Taylor, well pre-alpha could just be a term which is coined to in fact use this opportunity to get feedback on the game. Perhaps the devs have reached a block, says Ash Taylor. I just think it's a cheap way to make money when you haven't even finished a game, to be honest. Um, do, 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 That's all it is. It's the half-built games that you're charging the price for full games on, really. Well, you're not. It's kind of like half price for full games. Uh, what are we doing? Still not a massive fan of them, though. I mean, things like Daisy, for instance. I'd much rather Daisy was just finished and uploaded and charged for it that way, but never be able to play it otherwise. It's so bloody slow doing it. Um, and it's probably one of those kind of games like Minecraft that's going to keep getting added to. Whereas this game, I pretty much guess that there's going to be an end point to production, there's going to be some kind of like, you know, this is a finished package, here you go, on consoles, whatever. Which is like why it's different to things like Daisy and Minecraft and things, open world experiences. I could be wrong. <coughs> Problem with pre alphas is, is it could put you off again just as much as it could grab Five, your interest as 86 four, and that hatter. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> is this one I've already played? I don't think so. Checkpoint! Oh, wait. No, it is the one I've already played. Poo. 
Ah, for it, play it this race, sir. Oh, wait, what? What happened? Can't tell now. That's one big drill bit, that's what he insists to all the lads, says Nomad Jim. <laughs> in this case, it's playable in pre alpha because of the Kickstarter backers, says Jeff uh, Wizenski. Okay. Okay. Five, four, three, hmm. two, one, go! No way. What? Is it just the same level? Because that is definitely the level I've played. Is it just the same level with a, uh, a different start? Or a different... Maybe it's a different maybe it's a different route. I do that do that need do need a do 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 Oh my god Oh my god I can't believe it gonna have to ban hammer someone again Kaboosh My arms are tired from swinging the banhammer all day. Two, one, go! By the way, uh, everybody, uh, it's not long until I do the draw for early entry tickets to Euro Gamer London. It's tickets for the Saturday. It's the same, same track, same, uh, same level, just different track layout. Um, that's where I got confused. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, five pairs of early entry tickets to Eurogamer Expo on the Saturday. Uh, that day has now sold out completely. No, it hasn't. The early entry passes have now sold out completely. The day, you can still buy normal tickets. Um, but I've got, yeah, I've got five pairs of two. Five pairs of tickets to give away. So you can take a friend, a girlfriend, a grown-up, a guardian, your friendly neighbourhood Batman. Take whoever you want with the secondary ticket that you uh, that you win. It's Whoa! I've been wrecked. You just got to remember that you've got to get there for a start. And you've got to pay for your own transport, and you've got to pay for your own hotel, and your own uh, food as well. You only get the ticket for free. Helium filled pets? Oh, nice. Have I made the pedestrians get filled with helium? Lap complete. I'm not sure. It's running down. How can I make them float off if they are full of helium? Oh, there we go! Oh, that's awesome! That's the best thing about uh, I've seen in this game. Pity you can't change the camera to follow him around. Oh, I squished him. Oh, it ran out. Oh. That needs to be a longer lasting power up. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Tickets would be go uh, awesome. My girlfriend missed out on the Saturday tickets as Ash Taylor. Well, stay tuned. I'll be doing the draw in about ten minutes. Oh. oh, look at you. You got owned. Let's try and pick up some more power up these things. Boy. Opponent tosser? How dare you? Where's an opponent? How do I toss him? Ah. What? What is this?
trying to toss my opponent. Oh, there you go. Do you know how that happened or what happened there? I can't affect him that, but I wrecked it. I twatted them. I twatted him. Boing! Just found out how to open doors. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I need to find a ramp so I can do that joke properly. Lab complete. Lab complete. I was. I thought. It was, I thought it was worth it. The first snow level was Tatooine during the winter. The second was Hoth during the summer. It says a uh, Nomad Gem 1138. Oh, I see. Oh, hello, Nathan Bolte. Hello, Nibiru Magica. <laughs> she fell over. Black complete. Lab complete. Black. Checkpoint. <laughs> It would be fun to drive a school bus, someone says. Cars can fly too. This is Tom T101. Well. Doesn't help it stay airborne. Just gonna hit this guy with my doors. Oh, it didn't pop out. Made the noise, but it didn't pop out. <laughs> wow. Okay, doors. Checkpoint. Ian, I remember you saying you would do a community stream for trials. Uh, any idea what platform? I try and get it for a. Uh, few different platforms if I can uh, H hack but I'm not 100% sure what those platforms would be right um. pen and book right okay guys and female guys that are watching this show uh, it's time for me to do a draw for tickets for Eurogamer X London. Uh, it is the tickets I am giving away. I'm giving away five pairs of early entry tickets for the Saturday. Those tickets have now sold out on our website. You cannot get them anywhere. They sold like hotcakes. It was crazy. So uh, if you are around uh, the 27th of September and you want to go to 
Eurogamer Expo in London. Now's the time. Uh, what you need to do is write gimme in the chat window. Let me just... Uh, you might not be able to read that. Where's my mouse? Oh, I can't do it. Well, uh, gimme. You can copy whoever else, someone else knows how to do it. Uh, write gimme in the chat window. I will write down about 20 names and then I will put them all into a hat. And I will pick out five at random. See who wins. So, if you want to come along to Eurogamer Rest and you want to get in early and get into the queue, get to the front of the queues for all the biggest and best upcoming games, then you want to be entering this if you haven't already got your ticket. Uh, just a quick reminder that we are only giving away the tickets. You're going to have to sort out accommodation, food, and travel yourself. We're not that generous. But you will have an awesome time if you do come along to Eurogamer Expo London. It will be very, very cool indeed. Uh, they haven't, we've not announced any games or anything yet. I have no idea what's going to be on. They never tell me anyway. But there's going to be some awesome games there. For show for show. And often you'll be among the very first people in, to, in the world to play some of the games. Eurogamer Rezd that happened this weekend. Just gone. Uh, people who went there were the first people in the world, first members of the public anyway, to play Alien Isolation, which is a pretty cool boast. I'm sure there'll be plenty of other big games to play. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20 24 potential spaces for names to write down. So, let's go to the very top where all the gimmies are coming in. Do 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 do. I am writing none things down. So you just got to watch this car spinning around for a second and look at my uh, shiny forehead while we do this. Uh, if you do win, if your name is picked out of the hat of truth, then all you need to do is... Was that one that I was just writing down? Oh, there you go. Uh, all you need to do is email me with um, uh, direct message me on YouTube with your uh, email address, and I will uh, I will get those tickets sent out to you. Just print them off and bring them with you on the day. That's pretty cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh look, Drazzy Drazan's there. I met Drazzy Drazan at Rest and his girlfriend. Lovely couple. La 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 la. Let's try and write a bit faster. It's okay, you don't need to see how bad my handwriting is. Uh, obviously, the uh, expo is in London, so. If you are uh, from a foreign country, probably best not to uh, not to enter this, because uh, you're going you're gonna to have to pay for airfare yourself, and that would be uh, that's going to be kind of expensive. Well, I've written his name down once already. <coughs> 
So there will be five lucky winners. Which is nice. Maybe you've got your tickets already. Let me know if you got your tickets already. You have to come and uh, say hello if you see me. I'm always pretty crazy busy in the London Expos, but I always take a little bit of time to uh, head out onto the floor and uh, meet meet up with peeps. Blah, 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 blah. Is that it? Return to newest comments. Uh, I think that's all the. I think that's all the gimmies in. Have I done that name? I've done that name. Done that name. Okay, right. Apologies. I forgot my hat. My lucky competition hat as well. Right. Now, I've just got to wait a little second while I rip this up. Hope you're all at home getting ready to drum roll on your desks. There's about 20, 2.25% chance. Yeah, 25% chance that you, you, if your name is, if you write Gimme, your name will be pulled out of the hat. 25% chance. <laughs> Just random scream from someone. That, oh, 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 oh. Okay. The names are going into the hat right now. Dropping, screwing them up. Dropping them into the hat of truth. <laughs> Raving Panda's already got his tickets, I think. Thanks for the show, says KTV. No worries, KTV. Still drum rolling says remodulate. Uh, lots of people who played Alien Isolation were uh, too scared to finish the demo, which is quite funny. One of uh, one of Eurogamer's uh, writers, I'm not going to say his name, he was too scared to finish, which is genius. Um, I am going to be editing an exclusive interview with uh, the creative director on Alien Isolation. Uh, that should be up on the Eurogamers YouTube channel tomorrow. I've also got... Uh, I, d I wonder if it's up. It should be up, but I will just check and see. Oh, it signed me out again. Of course it's signed me out again. Video manager. Yes, so uh, up now at the moment, just went up at five o'clock, is um, I got an exclusive interview, uh, stroke, hands-on preview of Child of Light, which is Ubisoft's JRPG-inspired um, adventure. Looks beautiful, but what did I think of the game? You can watch that video and find out. You can also, another video that went up was the first 10 minutes of the game. Uh, no commentary, just put up the first 10 minutes of the game uh, for you guys to watch and see. Drink in the atmosphere and uh, see what you think of it. See whether or not you think it might be worth your monies. Right, nearly done. Last two names going in the hat now. So, you can start your drum rolling now. I'm going to do a shake of the magic hat. 
Um, I'm presuming you all know how to direct message on YouTube. If you don't, um, go youtube.com forward slash inbox and then um, you can uh, write messages there. The channel is Eurogamer. Or you can go to youtube.com forward slash Eurogamer and click on about. And I think you can message from that way. Shake them up. I don't know if you can see them in there. They're rolling around in there. So let's go full screen for this. Alt tab. Alt tab. Okay, here we go. Nitro Man 77 is. I thought I'd banned him. I'm going to ban him again because he's annoying me. Doo ba 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 Right, here we go. Okay, the first winner is... The first winner is... Centurion Mud Pig. You can't read that, but that's what it says. Centurion Mud Pig, well done, Centurion Mud Pig. Send me a direct message with your email address in, and we will get those pairs of tickets... To you, Stefan Campers, good work. He's drumming on the table. So is Ed 2003 WRX. Oh no, I missed out because I cooked dinner, says Valhalla Viking. No, Valhalla Viking, no. The next winner is. Abdizo, I think, is what my writing was. Pretty sure it's Abdizo. So well done, Abdizo. Send me a. Uh, Abdiso, A B D I S O. So Abdiso won uh, one of them. So direct message me with your email address, Abdiso. Three more pairs of tickets to give away. Here they come. Brrr, boom! The winner is of this one, a Titan Sleeps. Well done, a Titan Sleeps. Direct message me for your chance to win. I'm going to give it another another shake up. Here we go. Oh, God, I dropped it. Here we go. Okay, the next winner is... <laughs> I like this now. Peter Mountain. Well done, Peter Mountain. Direct message me with your email address. Final shake. And... Final pick. Here we go final winner is of a pair of tickets to early entry tickets to Eurogamer Expo in London Sat Saturday the 27th of September early entry tickets is Ross O'Leary well done Ross O'Leary direct message me uh, on this Eurogamer YouTube channel with your uh, email address and I will get them sent out to you so hopefully they'll be sent out to you tomorrow so well done everybody who's won thank you very much for watching uh, my final kind of um, thoughts on Carmageddon reincarnation is that uh, at this very moment it is not worth paying £20 for at all there might be a good game in there but at the moment there isn't one um I'd hold on to your money, buy some different games and wait until this game is a little bit more finished. Uh, if you've kickstarted it, if you're a Kickstarter you know, follower or if you're a massive fan of Carmageddon, you can't wait to get your hands on it, then by all means jump in. But if you've got a passing interest in the game um, or you've got other games that you want to buy, I'd steer clear. It's, you know, the developers have admitted it's pre-alpha. Uh, half, you know, all the levels that are here in the game aren't even finished. Um, there is a lot of work to be done on the game, and uh, yeah, it's 
in my opinion, it's not worth paying for right now unless you're a massive Carmageddon fan. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I knocked my table. Um, if you are uh, around tomorrow, I'm going to be live streaming at about the same time, about 5 p.m. What's it going to be? You might ask. It's going to be Dynasty Warriors 8 on the PlayStation 4, and I'm going to have 10 copies of the game to give away. But with a twist, uh, I don't have the copies with me. I've got 10 copies to give away, um, and whoever wins gets to pick whether they get a PlayStation 4 copy, a PlayStation 3 copy, or a PlayStation Vita copy. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? So 10 versions of um, uh, Dynasty Warriors 8. Uh, not the uh, not the one that I streamed a while back. It's like the updated version, like the expansion pack version or whatever. But I'll be streaming that tomorrow, so please do tune in from that. Uh, from me to you, have a very good night, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>